Welcome back to another DJI Neo 2 video guys and I'm going to make a very very quick intro here because uh, I had hoped to do it properly and a bit more detailed than this but because of the way the release schedule has gone today uh, time has evaded me so I'm actually recording this in my car um, and I wanted to sh show you guys the issues I'm having with my DJI Neo 2. Now I'm fairly certain the issues I'm having with my DJI Neo 2 are indicative of a faulty unit so yesterday i showed you a video whereby it just sank into the ground under throttle it, it made absolutely no sense that it would do that um so i went back out today with a sd card in my goggles and i was able to capture the issues that i was having when flying in manual mode so i'd like you to let me know in the comments down below have you seen anybody else's video like this have you heard anybody else complaining of this i'm going to open a ticket with dji now and obviously i will follow up this video and show you later on down the line what dji say once this ticket's been opened but for now i'm going to shut up i'm going to cut to the footage we've got the stick cam on so i'll, I'll narrate it as i'm flying and then i'll see you guys here in a second for the outro Add in our goggles and I think what I'm going to do because DJI have uh, although I may not be able to do it now I've taken off I was just going to switch it to uh, auto camera mode there we go stick it to auto camera mode because it's a bit inhospitable is this and let's just see if we have the uh, same problems oh it's turned off manual mode again, which it did yesterday, which is a bit weird, so I'll just come back and land it. It keeps turning off manual mode as an option, so... Um, but this is it in sport mode. And as a, as a newbie FPV drone for 200 quid, it's, it is hard to beat. However, I do have some issues with it. And look at that, once I hit full throttle... Oh! Yeah, I think I've got a faulty Neo 2, which is amazing, because I had a faulty Neo 1. <laughs> that is not normal behaviour, is it? And I think that is why, when I go to full throttle, that I had that problem yesterday. Because I'm barely getting any thrust from it at all. Which is a, a shame, to be honest, because uh, I actually think there is good merits in this drone. I barely made that. I'm going to stick it back into sport mode because that um, is exactly what I thought it was. I think we have a faulty Neo 2. Now, I have checked the module to make sure the module's not the problem. The module is not the problem. And even in sport mode, when we hit full throttle, even though we don't go to the same level of throttle, you can see there is slight vibration in those uh in the in the fpv feed and it's really frustrating because the first neo that i had had a fault dj admitted the fault and it's just super super frustrating because i think for 200 quid what you've got here is a really really good beginner drone that is packed full of tech that nothing else has or comes close to for 200 quid but i've got two both the Neo and the Neo 2 right out of the gate that I've got problems with them and it's so frustrating now if you're just flying in sport mode not a problem I have got a spotter with me I do have to be careful because the air ambulance comes over here but yeah just flying in sport mode look it's, it's not a problem but I'm flying around admittedly in FPV mode but I might as well be flying a camera drone because as you can see my sticks are at let me oh we've got shake then let me make sure yeah you can see the sticks the sticks are at full deflection so you know this is this is the most we can do we're doing apparently 20 miles an hour which is not it's not a slouch of a speed but it's so frustrating that this I, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say it is faulty because there's no way that it should be behaving like that. To the point of view, um, it nearly shook itself out of the air at the start. So super, super frustrating. Uh, battery life on it isn't brilliant either, but again, you've got all the tech packed in it. 
um, and to an extent you can sort of understand but what are we looking at five minutes we've been flying for three minutes and we've got five minutes left on 56 percent battery so about seven minutes now if that was in full fpv mode i wouldn't have a problem with that because as we know fpv drones last for about three to five minutes on average um but that's flying it around in this uh well, sport mode is, is what they'll call it, but it's not what I call it. And it's, it's a shame. It's a real shame. I will open a ticket with DJI, and I will, of course, let you guys know what happens. Did notice yesterday on camera draw mode, we did have bad chromatic aberration around these trees. So be interested to see how well that copes in this camera mode. I have put it into auto, so it may cope with it better because DJI's... Uh, software seems to be dealing with things a lot better in auto mode than it is doing in manual mode which is not really how it should work but it is what it is it is what it is so if you want to explore with goggles on like this like a like a mavic you can do it with the neo 2 and it's only 200 quid it's a bit of a bargain if you want to fly proper fpv you're going to have to bear with me because I'm going to send this back to DJI or I'm going to open a case with DJI anyway and I'll let you know what they say uh, but for now I'm going to land because uh, I'm actually dying of uh, hypothermia uh, and for the next few months all you're going to hear is me complaining about how cold I am right, let's land and I'll see you in a second well then, that was the, uh, the, the the problems that I'm experiencing with the Neo 2. And like I say, I'm fairly certain it's indicative of a faulty unit. I've checked the transceiver on the back because, you know, it's been suggested to me and I did think maybe it's a bit loose and that's what's causing the shake. It is very, very solidly, solidly screwed in and it is 100% not that that is causing it. So I'd be curious to hear what you guys say as to whether or not you've seen this problem before or heard of this problem before. I haven't, but I haven't stayed massively abreast of the Neo 2 and, and its details, I've got to be honest. Um, but yeah, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm also, I filmed a comparison video of the Neo 2 in camera drone mode versus the Mini 4 Pro. So the Mini 4 Pro has a smaller sensor than the Mini 5 and was released over two years ago. Will the Mini 4 Pro offer better footage than the brand new Neo 2. Well, that shorts video, if it's not up by the time this video goes live, will be up shortly after it, pardon the, the pun. Uh, so please do go and check that out and let me know which one of these two drones that you think is actually looking the better. The two, the two year old one or the brand new one that's uh, just been released. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. We're trying to build something really special here. So the support that you've given us is absolutely amazing. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. YouTube and I have had a chat, and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most. So watch it and let me know if they're right.